Ah, Pal World, a game that was slated to be one of the top games of its year in 2024, a game beloved by YouTubers and fans alike, a game with a lot of prospect and a lot of places it could go. But nowadays, if you look at the Steam charts, the game only sits at around 20 to 30k average daily players, significantly down from its first week sales. So what happened to Pal World? That's what we're going to be discussing today. Palworld was released on January 19th, 2024, and immediately YouTubers and fans took to it. In its first week alone, it already sold 6.1 million copies, which is a tremendous amount of sales. So with that many copies being owned, why is it that today, its daily player base currently sits under 30k? Well, here's a few reasons. I think the most important thing to consider is Palworld's popularity was very dependent on YouTube gaming as most games are nowadays. But the thing was with Pal World that you could essentially beat this game in about 60 to 80 hours if you wanted to get most of the content done in the game, right? And when you're a streamer or a YouTuber, that's a limiting amount of content you can make. That's basically a few amount of playthroughs you can go through before it's done with. And unlike Five Nights at Freddy's, there was no lore that was included in the game that was worthwhile looking into to make actual YouTube theories off of, so that was also off the table. But there's a few other things that also contributed to Pal World's downfall, one of them being oversimilarities. I mean, the obvious game to pick in this is Pokemon. It's a clear rip out of Pokemon, and I mean, look at these. Some of these are clear, bare-bones rips from Pokemon. A few details changed up here and there, but by and large, they are the same thing. This was enough to stick out like a sore thumb upon the game's release, and definitely had an impact on the way the game was perceived in general. Overall, people thought that, for the most part, it was a Pokemon copycat that basically expanded on a few things that the Pokemon game just hadn't done yet. But the things that it expanded on had also already been done. The build mechanics, which were popularized, obviously, by Minecraft, but also take from other games like Satisfactory and No Man's Sky. The mechanics are very similar to games that already exist. On top of that, it also takes a lot from Legend of Zelda and the way the game paints itself and the way the game controls itself. And for anyone wondering, Pal World had exactly been done with Pokemon years prior with Pixelmon, the Minecraft mod. It incorporated the best aspects of Pokemon and kept the best aspects of Minecraft alive with it as well, leading to a culmination of amazing gameplay that had already done everything Power World redid years before. All these effects combined started to snowball, and over the coming months, you can see by this graph here of Steam's daily user base, Power World really took a tank. And sure, it's had small spikes here and there, but at the end of the day, it's definitely not what it once claimed to be. The issue with Power World was the lack of content, and among a few other bugs and glitches here and there. But for the most part, a game's gonna die out if there's only so much content about it. The reason why games like GTA, Minecraft, and Fortnite have existed in the zeitgeist for so long is because they were able to keep up and make unlimited content. Minecraft obviously adding the ability to join servers and play a bunch of different minigames with your friends. GTA with the modding capabilities and pure missions that they kept adding to the game. Fortnite with its constant map changes, and I hate to say it, but also DLCs. It just keeps the games fresh, you know? You can never fully 100% complete these games because they're always changing molding and shifting. Pal World, it didn't move quick enough, and a lot of the user base died off with it. I'm sure that they will put out some heavy updates in the future as well that will be unseen by the general public because everyone's forgotten about Pal World. They did their original playthrough and they're done now. And that's just how it is in current gaming, but at the end of the day, it's up to you what you want to do with Pal World. If you want to go back, I'm not going to stop you. If you don't, I'm on the same train with you. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this little video, and if you did, leave a like. Um, other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.